Now we are looking at the draw frame load gauge for wet linen draw frame machine 283 and 284. And this is the, the display unit of the gauge. Now it is being put on charge and the indicator can be seen. And it is connected with the load cell unit. This is the load measuring unit. It has got a VGA cable and it is connected to the display unit. The, the load cell has to be put horizontally and then the, the, the button for zeroing has to be set. So this is the correct procedure for setting zero. We should not set the zero while it is in vertical position. It is a wrong procedure. And while applying load, the, the center rod has to be matched with the one side shaft of the, the roller. Now, this is the procedure to assemble the, the with the accessories. We have got many spacers of various sizes, 50, 40, 30, 20. So all these sizes, there is a logic for providing these sizes, which should be explained in a few seconds. We have given some screws of various lengths also. And we have given a slotted uh, washer which, is, which will be fitted into the machine, which will be shown later. Now, a, a given length of the spacer is taken and a proper screw is used and to fasten with the bottommost plate of the gauge. Already, the bottommost plate is about 50 mm from the center, which is marked here. So, uh, it means that it is for 100 mm, the diameter from the center. So, for any other increment, say if it is 150 mm, you have to add it to 25 mm spacer for that. If it is 200 mm, you have to put a 50 mm spacer. If it is 190 mm, you have to put a 45 mm spacer. And that's the logic. Now, we are measuring in the in a bit linen draw frame model 283. It is now mount, the gauge is mounted on the machine, you can see, and the load is being shown. It is almost 50 to 60 kilograms on average. Now, while measuring, assembling, the, the shaft is inserted in the gauge, one side shaft, the bamboo is removed, and the washer is fitted and it is slid into the, the, the side saddle of that machine and the load applying arm is placed in position and the load applying screw is tightened. There are many positions in the bottom most load bearing, load giving lever. So for each position it can be recorded. And we can choose at which place the correct load is obtained based on the quality and the heckling quality of the wet linen, wet linen sliver. Now you can see the load varies for each position.
when the lord very correctly opens the fibers of the sliver th- that can be prescribed as a standard load for that particular fiber for the particular speed now it the same procedure can be repeated for the other top rollers every head of the top roller has to be checked for this load so a uniform setting is ensured throughout the machine the machine 284 is also similar to this and the same procedure is applicable there too the operators are adjusting the loads for each position of the load applying lever the bottom, there is z wide with the with the lever so for each position the load they are still experimenting with it this is a, a demonstration in one um, wetland mill